Have you heard of the dead internet theory? Uh, saw a video or two on that issue, and <clears throat> it's uh, definitely kind of a bad, not kind of a bad thing, a very bad thing, and it's something that I've been wondering about for a while now, and it's really um, made me think about the future of the, of the ministry. Um, just to let you know what it is in a nutshell, you can do the research on it yourself if you want to, you can check it out. Um, but there was a forum, I think, if I remember correctly, and there was a thread on the forum from different uh, high-tech people or whatever else, and they talked about that the time would come when there would be, um, that the internet itself would basically die and be replaced by artificial intelligence. And um, they said in 2016, nearly half of all internet activity was artificial intelligence. Now, you know, I'm an old school guy and whatever, uh, Generation X, I've actually been called a boomer by some people in the comments section. <laughs> okay, I have gray hair, but that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, a baby boomer generation. I am Generation X, born in 1975. But, you know, I'm very much old fashioned in a lot of ways. And so for me, this artificial intelligence thing, I just think it couldn't possibly be that. You know, it's, this is so ridiculous. You know, the, how can you get, you know, uh, robots or whatever else to watch these videos and comment on the material? And, you know, it's hard for me to believe, but it's there. And, you know, I think back to 2016 and I think, yeah, you know what? Um, I can see it. If I am really honest with myself, I can see how things changed in 2016. Um, I can see how it went down from a lot of the um, a lot of the people that used to watch my videos would post very insightful comments, and the comments just got kind of dead and lifeless, you know. Uh, so, artificial intelligence in the comments. Yeah, and um, if you watched the last video that I did, a little walk and talk here this morning, um, I was talking about the thing of knowledge increasing, but uh, uh, sound doctrine not increasing. Sound doctrine, people can't endure sound doctrine, but they can increase in knowledge. Well, what uh, greater example of that than artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is increasing in knowledge, you know, all the time. Machine learning and all this other stuff. They're tracking what you're doing and what you say and everything else. And, um, you know, I mean, I could I could go full crazy on this whole thing and, and just say, you know, it could get to the point where um, they could take me out and literally replace me with artificial intelligence. Mimic my voice, mimic my looks, everything. Um, create an artificial atmosphere out here. I mean, I could, if I was, you know, dumb enough, I could actually study this whole thing and, and um, have artificial intelligence take over the ministry, which would be really creepy. But uh, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to do that. But what I'm saying is, um, the thing that's troubling to me about this is that at what point in time am I just wasting my time on YouTube and in fact online? Because if the vast majority of my subscribers are artificial intelligence and my views aren't really legitimate, then what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? I was explaining this to my wife and son yesterday and, and I went over and I opened up the um, kitchen cabinet and I started to talk to the dishes inside. And I said, that's what I feel like I'm doing a lot of times on YouTube. Uh, like I'm just wasting my time. And because of this whole artificial intelligence thing now, it makes me wonder, you know? And I mean, obviously some of you are real out there. Um, you know, that's why I don't have email because uh, an email publicly available to anybody who wants to write because I would be writing back and forth with artificial intelligence which is really bizarre. Um, 
you know, there are a few people that uh, have my email address and, you know, I've talked to them and whatever. I know that they're real. Um, but there are, if I just had it available to anybody that anybody could email, I would be talking with artificial intelligence, which is, like I said, it's so bizarre to me. I don't even understand that this world that we've gone into and so how people can think that this is somehow a good thing, you know, I mean, it's just insanity. It's craziness. Um, and so I'd like some input. Um, of course, on this channel, I'm going to be getting input from artificial intel intelligence. But, uh, you know, I'd like to hear from people. And if you want to really convince me that you're not artificial intelligence, then please write a letter. You don't have to write it by hand. You can write it and print it. Or, you know, some people say, well, I don't have a printer or whatever. Okay, then... You know, I like handwritten letters. And, um, you know, but if you do that, then I will know that you're not artificial intelligence. And, of course, we've heard from many thousands of people over the year, over the years. Um, so I do know that I've had some impact. But it's a little bit disheartening to think of, you know, the fact that, I mean, you know, 2016, eight years ago, uh... And 50% of all online activity is artificial intelligence. What is it now? With all the new artificial intelligence stuff that they've been announcing and all this new, uh, I don't even, chat GPT and some of the other stuff um, that I've heard of. I don't, I'm not into any of that stuff, so I don't know. You might say, well, chat GPT is not artificial intelligence or, I don't know. I think it, that's one of them, but um, I'm not into the, artificial intelligence world so there's a lot of things I don't I might not say correctly or whatever in terms of that whole thing but um, but you just get to a point with this dead internet theory where all you're dealing with is artificial intelligence well then you lose all freedom and um, one of the things that they were saying in the one video I watched is that they said you know that uh, the algorithms They'll like a certain video for some reason. Maybe you teach the artificial intelligence something new and then they, a whole bunch go over to learn it or something. I don't really know how it works. But what a lot of creators will do then is they will, they will go and say, oh, that video got lots of views. And then they'll go and they'll start to make more videos on that subject. Uh, because they think that people really like it. Uh, no, actually, artificial intelligence really likes it. And again, you know, advertisers. Uh... Why would you pay money to have a bunch of artificial intelligence, you know, views? You're not going to, you're not actually reaching customers. You're just going to, you know, robots. They're not going to buy your products that you're trying to advertise on YouTube. <sighs> what a world. <laughs> uh, the whole world will worship the beast and his image. Um... Uh, all of a sudden, it doesn't seem so far out into the future. Um, there are people that are definitely worshipping the image of the beast right now. Uh, well, I shouldn't say worshipping the image of the beast, but they're getting ready to worship the image of the beast. Let me clarify. Um, they would certainly worship the beast if the beast showed up. So, uh, I'd li really like to hear people's thoughts on it. Um, <laughs> but... Um, there's going to come a point in time when it's just not going to make sense to do this anymore. And I've been thinking about that. What is the next phase of the ministry? Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot more videos here uh, this year. And uh, specifically so over the last number of months. Um, because I feel that... Uh, I, I don't know why, I, but I feel sort of a, a deep foreboding kind of a thing that uh, some big changes are going to be happening. And when they do, um, I'm going to have to change how, this, how I do this ministry. Uh, I actually started out in ministry, if you go back far enough, before King James Video Ministries, I actually started out writing tracks and books. And um, that's kind of like, that's kind of where I'd like to get to again. Um, so there are there's a big list of books that I'd like to write and that's something I'm praying about 
how to make the transition over to that because I'm not going to waste my time on a platform where they try to censor my speech and I'm just ending up, you know, speaking to a bunch of artificial intelligence bots. And, you know, the whole thing on the, the Talmud that I did, uh, boy, some of the attacks that I've gotten from that, just absolutely, you know, nuts. And I think how many of these are just artificial intelligence? <sighs> you know, well, what about this? What about that? I'm not going to answer a stupid robot. They have no soul. Um, there isn't any purpose, any eternal purpose. Again, it just blows my mind. Um, you know, I'm not supposed to be witnessing to, uh, you know, robots. So, uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, not a lot of scripture in this one, but it's just something that I find, and I'm very, quite frankly, very troubled by it. Extremely troubled by it, because... Um, the devil, he will, you know, the, the Bible talks about the snare of the devil. And, um, and he can get you pulled into things where you think that you're making a difference and you think that you're doing some great work for the Lord and you're just not. And that concerns me very much because I don't want to get to heaven and, and I think all those videos and all the views that I had and I get there to heaven and I say, Lord, what did you think of my 100,000 subscribers? And the Lord says, yeah, about 10,000 of those were real. <laughs> huh? Yeah, 90,000 were robots. And uh, you didn't do anything. You trained uh, algorithms to learn more about the Bible-believing position. And the other issue is uh, casting pearls before swine. Um, you know, in, on one hand, my flesh goes, oh, this is really neat. Look at all these new subscribers. I mean, it's been almost 1,000 new subscribers a day here over the last couple of days. And I think, wow, that's really neat. But then I think it's probably just all artificial intelligence uh, or people that are now, you know, coming in to stalk the ministry or whatever else, enemies. Um, so, like I said, I'd like to know your thoughts. I know some of you are real. <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> you know, um, but that's going to be it. I'll shut this video down here and have to figure out what I'm going to be doing in the future. So um, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching.